here. Whoopsie. That's what happens when you talk and mascara at the same time because science has proven that you need to have your mouth completely open to do your mascara. So when you talk, you get some in your hair and on your eyelids. I am Erica Lucas. I'm a minimalist minimalist and I have been exploring minimalism, decluttering, and organizing for the last two and a half years on this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about things that make life easier in my bathroom. This is a bathroom I share with my husband. It's a bathroom off our master bedroom. And I'm just gonna talk. We'll see how it goes, how many I come up with. It's tucked in for a reason though, because I ripped the tag and I didn't do it like a proper person would with a pair of scissors. I just ripped it like a child would and uh, put a hole in it. So now until I repair this shirt, it's gonna get tucked in. Number one, having an everyday drawer. A drawer that has all my things that I use every day. Moisturizer, sunscreen, makeup, my jewelry, um, my hairbrush, my deodorant. I had to look in my drawer. <laughs> um, having everything in one drawer makes my life easier to get ready in the morning. And by easier in this case, it centralizes everything and makes it a little bit faster to get ready in the morning. I know exactly what I use for products on my hair, my skin, everything. And when it's out, I know it's time to reorder. I don't maintain inventory for my personal care products anywhere else in the house, but in this bathroom. So I know when something is running low that it's time to reorder. So it makes managing the inventory of my self-care products easier. I know exactly what I have, what I'm running low on, and I know exactly where it is in the house, in what drawer in my bathroom or what cabinet in my bathroom. I know exactly where everything is, which makes the bathroom very easy to tidy and to clean. This is what I'm using in my hair currently. AG, I am just out of the shower. All I did was take my microfiber cloth and just went like this to get some of the, the drips out. I do not towel dry my hair, like tying it up in a twisty. I just get out of the shower and let it drip onto my shower mat <laughs> until I can go get dressed. And then I put this on and then I brush the sections, which we'll do now. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend a long time cleaning a bathroom and I don't want to have to tidy it to clean it. So having less products, only keeping what I have, not stocking up on things, unless it's a crazy good sale um, of stuff that I know I'm going to, to utilize, then I might stock up. Otherwise I don't stock up. So I have less to manage. It's easier to tidy. It's easy to clean. Um, another one is body towels. So this one's mine's and this one's my husband's and this is my hair towel. We don't keep extra towels anywhere in the house except for the guest towels. I have a few guest towels in our linen closet, but for my family of five, no one has extra towels. I use one body towel and this hair towel occasionally. And the kids each have their own body towel. And we all have hooks on the back of the bathroom door. And I'm doing this wrong. I'm not ready to scratch, I have to separate. See, like, you can see how it's sort of not that way. I'm chatting instead of doing what I normally do, how I normally do my hair. Okay, so body towels. It's just easier to have less to manage. So I'm not rotating body towels in and out of my linen closet for my family. They get washed once a week or more often if necessary. And I just do everybody's towels together using my drops detergent. It's my drops detergent I use on everything. The dog's bed, our bath towels, our clothes, sports gear. Well, I don't wash all of that together. Those are all separate loads, but I do it all with the same detergent. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Harry's makes simple, high quality products for men and women. I have the ember color in the razor. They have ocean, sage, ember, and charcoal. That has these deep handle grooves and 50% of the plastic in their handles is recycled. The flex hinge follows the curves of my leg and my armpit. Razor refills are delivered to your door and they have a 100% money back guarantee. Your starter kit, you're gonna get five blade razor, a weighted handle, a blade cover, and the foaming shave gel. 
This shave gel is suitable for sensitive skin, which I have. Have you ever taken a shower and shaved one leg? Totally forgot to shave the other leg. Yep, that's what happened to me today. It has probably happened to me a dozen times in the last year. Check the description box below for a link. Order yourself a starter kit for $3 when you go to harrys.com slash Erica Lucas. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video. We use shower bath mats that are like the hotel kind that are actual towels. And I just have four of these and two in each bathroom. And each week I wash these after I wash the body towels. It's part of my laundry routine each week. And these are so much easier to clean. They go in the dryer or they can hang dry outside and they don't have the sticky, like rubbery backing that gets torn up in washing machines and torn up in dryers or melts in dryers. So I just have found these to make my life easier <laughs> um, for laundry and in the bathroom. They, um, they don't slip. I thought I might have a slipping problem, especially with kids, but they just, they don't move around. As long as you're not like using them like a sled, you know, you don't use your bath mats like a sled on the bathroom floor, it's okay. So I did lotion, hair, and that's how I just, I separate the curls with this. And then I allow the extra, the extra, I allow the curls to just naturally sort of find themselves. But this is after, what month is this? May, this is after 16 months of curly hair routine. This would not have performed this way the first six months of the curly girl routine. I had to get the gunk out of my hair and out of my routine and find what worked best for my hair. And then the last 10 months have done very, very well for me, especially the last five with this one product. I don't use anything else anymore. Be right back. about 80% dry. That's good enough for today. Another one, minimalist makeup. This is all of my makeup here and I really don't even use all of it. And it has nail polish in it. It belongs in a different section of my drawer. Um, most days, here's what I do. <laughs> Wee bit of blush maybe some mascara depends i've had watery eyes watery itchy eyes with allergies this season here sometimes i do this uh, i'm not feeling it today and then some lipstick i can't look at you i gotta look at where some over here Okay. I am actually out of makeup remover pads, but I'm going to buy the um, bird. I think it's maybe it's not Bird's Bees, but I'm I'll leave a link below. I'm going to buy the reusable makeup remover pads. You guys told me about it last time I did my makeup with you. You guys told me about those, so I'm going to be buying those because I am actually out of makeup remover pads. Okay. Um, and the reusable ones make a ton of sense. This curl here, I'm not feeling that section. Let's redo it. I also sprayed my face at the same time, so it was like a facial. There we go. So minimalist makeup, having a little bit of makeup to manage, kind of, kind of goes back to the inventory thing, but in a, in a little like thing that I can lift out of my drawer, and call it good. Um, I also like that it organizes all of my makeup in one spot in my drawer. So my makeup's not all over the place in my everyday drawer. I need to wash my hands. Oh, which makes me think of another one. Having enough hand towels and washcloths to get through a week without needing to do a special load of towel laundry for hand towels and washcloths. 
So for some reason, our magic number of washcloths is like 25. <laughs> With five people showering regularly, it's just what's needed. Some of my kids use two, one, <laughs> to dry their face in between <laughs> rinsings because they don't like the water, but yet they go into the pool underwater. Not the same thing as a bath, of course. And hand cloths, I think I have four for the two upstairs bathrooms and four for the downstairs bathroom, which is used twice as often. And I try to change them out every other day. And so each week I wash my body towels, I wash the, the bath mats, and then I wash the hands towels and the washcloths all. But, so it's like three loads of laundry for towels each week. Uh, I was gonna wash my hands. Thank you to Harry's for sponsoring this video. And here's another one for you. That was weird. Have a great day.